Growing up, I mostly did team sports. Uh, basketball and volleyball were kind of my main sports. I was actually just about to start track in, in middle school um, when I was diagnosed. I actually remember like, you know, kind of asking my parents because they had to pull me from school to go to this appointment. And I was like, it's fine, but will I be back to school by three because I want to make it to my first track practice. It was kind of surreal, you know? Obviously, like, I knew what cancer was, and I, I, I knew that it was, like, a scary, serious thing. But I think I had a hard time really internalizing it and reconciling that this was actually happening to me. I was 12, and I didn't know any better. You know, my mindset was really just kind of like, all right, just do whatever we have to do so I can put this behind me and, you know, move on with my life. It all happened very fast. I went through three months of chemo just to shrink the tumor before I went in for limb salvage procedure where they removed the tumor and then completely reconstructed my leg. I don't think I really anticipated how big of a deal that was going to be. It was a very intensive surgery and uh, it left my leg pretty much functionless. Even though the surgery was successful in you know, getting rid of the cancer, I just wasn't able to use my leg at all. I went through nine more months of chemo, was declared in remission, and was totally ready to just like, you know, move on with my life, completely forget that this ever happened, but uh, my leg just totally prevented me from doing that. You know, I just, I kind of came to this realization that I was going to be able to do so much more with a prosthetic than I would be able to do with the leg that I had. I remember going in for the surgery and, you know, there was a part of me that was scared, but I knew that this decision was going to be the right thing and that it was going to lead me to something better. And I didn't really know what that thing was yet, but I, I knew that it was out there and I just really trusted that, you know, things were going to work out the, the way that they needed to. I knew that when I did have my wish granted, I wanted it to be something that my entire family could enjoy. I decided that I, I wanted to take my family to Hawaii throughout the entire process of you know, going through chemo and going through surgeries and electing to have my leg amputated, that wish was kind of just always there as something to look forward to. It was shaping up for an American trifecta. I really just believe in giving everything that I have to the moment at hand, because when you give everything you have in that moment and compile that moment after moment after moment, that's when amazing things happen. That moment of crossing my first finish line, it just changed everything for me. Because, you know, until that point, I had really just identified strongly as, you know, a cancer survivor, as an amputee, and I kind of thought that was all I was. And then, you know, I finished a triathlon, and I became a triathlete. And that was just so empowering. Um, and I really just thought to myself, like, wow, if I can do this, really hard thing, there's really no limit in what I can do. I want to use this sport to become the best Haley that I can be. Um, that's really what motivates me on a daily basis, is just to be you know, a little bit better than I was yesterday, with the hopes that you know, one day I'll be able to truly maximize what I'm capable of.